everyone and welcome to another exciting episode. I am Jeremy Reed and I'm Michael Leon. We are Earth, Earth Ambassadors. Ambassadors and today we are here in fabulous Port Royal, the old city and we today will be talking, well I should say that I will be interviewing Miss Kim Stiff of the Port Authority and the Port Authority played a vital role in having this very vessel come to Jamaica. They also play a vital role in ensuring Jamaica's maritime culture, in ensuring that the ships docking here are all up to standard and the port itself is up to standard. We also had Michael doing an interview. I, I interviewed Leva and she's from Denmark. She is a young student, not a student side, she's a, a young person traveling the world basically and she volunteered her time on this ship to just travel around the world in the pursuit of her passion, which is environmentalism and environmental awareness. Okay, so with that said, join us on the other side where you will see two exciting interviews done right here in Port Royal, Jamaica. Welcome to another episode with Earth Ambassadors. My name is Michael Leon and today we're here with Leva. She is with a Norwegian ship and we have been struggling with the pronunciation. So can you please pronounce it first, please? Statsgad Limkul. Statsgad Limkul. Yes. Lim okay, close enough. Limkul. Limkul. Yes. Okay, so can you tell us about um, the ship, what it's doing, its purpose, you know, and, and after that, just give us a little break breakdown about your experience and how you got involved. Okay, so... Um Lemkul is right now doing a, a circus, what's it called, like when you go around the globe. Circumvent, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Um, and it's on a like one ocean expedition, so they're doing it for the the environment and the climate and the, to raise awareness of the sea. Mm -hmm. And then we are sailing with them. Um, we always have some research searchers on board, some science, science guys mm. who take <laughs> samples. Um, of and collect all kinds of data okay um and then it uh, varies if we sail with just like regular passengers who bought a ticket to sail with us mm. and then um or sometimes we sail with the navy we had the dutch navy on board and in new york the norwegian navy will be on board for three months okay and then for four months in the pacific ocean the um, uh, some students from the university in in Bern, where the ship is from, um, will embark and do science stuff. Science, okay. Yes. <laughs> okay, I'm very interested into this, into the scientific research. Can you talk to me about that? What are some of their findings thus far? Okay, I'm not that much into the science stuff. That's not really my area, so I cannot okay. uh, really go into details with that. But yeah. they do, like they take samples. Um, is it that they have measured the depth of the ocean or they measure the yeah, temperature? Yeah, all, all kinds of stuff. Okay. Like, yeah, depth, temperature, life, all, yeah. Life forms, awesome. Yeah. All right, yeah. so what is, what, is, what is your role on board? My role on board is, um, I'm a crew on deck, I'm a volunteer, so I, I, um, I don't get paid as the professional crew does, but I work on deck, I, um, I do maintenance. You see how beautiful the ship is. Oh, this is all, this is all thanks to you, right? Oh, yeah. All thanks to you, right? Okay. Um, yeah, okay. so I vanish, I paint, I chip rust, I do... There's a lot of maintenance on the, on the ship. Oh, wow, so you're really hands-on. Mm, yeah. Really yeah. hands-on, okay. Yeah, and then I also do... Uh, I do sea watches, so... Sea watches, what's it, what's it, sea watches? Um, so the... We're split into three watches um, because there always have to be someone watch who sail the ship. Right. Um, we have to do the sail handling. It's a big ass ship. It yeah. takes a lot of uh, hands to right, hold, right. pull in the ropes. Right. And I am. And you had you you're doing, you're doing all of that, like pulling the ropes, bringing on the sail. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah nice. climbing the rigging. Um, so you've been out you've been out up there before. Yeah, yeah, many times. Nice. What's it like up there? It's nice. It's yeah. Very nice. Yeah. Dope. All right, so what about the first watch? Is, is it called f watch, watch, you said? Yeah, watch. So what, ta what time are you usually on watch? Um, there's a watch from 4 to 8, then yeah. one from 8 to 12, and then from 12 to 4. Which one's the best one? Mm, I think my favorite is the 4 to 8. I like, yeah. then you get the sunrise and the yeah. sunset. And I'm sure you must have lots of amazing pictures of the sunrise. Mm, yeah. I mean, like the sunrise, I just imagine that like, the sunrise at ocean must look so different because you have no artificial light. Yeah, especially the stars at night. They're yeah, that must, that must be amazing, man. It's yeah. like a great experience. Yeah. Nice, nice. Yeah. So what, what, have, what has been like the most, um, I won't say heart-wrenching, but have you ever been, 
Have you ever gone, oh my God, we're going to sing? <laughs> I, uh, I did not happen to you before. No. Have, has it, has it both ever done like gone, hit the waves really hard before and like? Well, um, when I've been on board, then the weather has been quite nice. We haven't had very rough weather. We had a super easy Atlantic crossing, just sailing with the wind, no, no storms, no nothing. Oh, that um, must have been great. Flat, flat, flat water. Yeah, yeah. Ish. Oh, nice. Um, yeah, but so very easy. Um, and no, no, I'm, I'm not really afraid. I know that the, the ship can take a lot of wind and okay, okay. And you saw any dolphins, and any whales, yeah, yeah, yeah. any yeah. sharks? Was anything weird out there? No, no sharks. But yeah, we see a lot of dolphins, and I don't know what the English name is for like the small fish who fly. Oh, the flying, the small fish that fly, the flying fish? Yeah. Or that jump out of the water? Yeah, 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 the small fish that fly. We just say yeah. flying fish. Okay. Because okay. it's a fish that Same. flies. Yeah, okay. Same <laughs> as in, right. in Danish. Um, yeah, but we see a lot of dolphins. Um, okay. So do you guys ever stop? You, you, you guys ever stop and just dive off and swim or? We only had one, uh, one swim. On, one. Like we only had one stop to swim. Uh, okay. During the... Atlantic crossing. Um, it takes like quite a lot of like everything is very um, strict, and you have to make sure that no one will drown and no yeah, one will of course. do anything. Of course, and of course. We have to stop the ship. We have to put out a ladder and and stuff. Okay, so um, I'm guessing I'm guessing that I'm guessing that you're also into environmental awareness, correct? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So, yes. um, is there anything that you want to share with our viewers, like what you have noticed the most environmentalists, and you know, on your voyage, like you know, what about the environment have you grown to appreciate during um, your voyage? I think, like, it's it's easy to see that the the oceans are in, in quite a bad condition. We are we fish a lot, and I think we've only caught like three fish because there's just only three fish. Yeah. Wow. Something like that. Leva, thank you very much for talking to us, for sharing your experiences, and you know, just say a few words to our viewers before we go. You're welcome. Thank you. Okay, so thank you very much. And don't forget, you know, protect the environment. Stay safe. Take care. Hello, everyone, and welcome back. So, we're here on the Norwegian vessel that is docked in Port Royal. We will be talking today with Miss Kim Stiff who will be telling us about the Port Authority and their role in getting this monumental vessel here with us in Jamaica. So, Miss Stiff. Yes. Welcome to another episode. Thank you for having me. So, as you all would be aware, cruise shipping activities had been suspending in Jamaica for approximately 17 months in light of the COVID-19 pandemic. Since then, we have been working assiduously with the Ministry of Health and Wellness to have protocols and regulations in place to support a restart of cruise in Jamaica. We started with the Port of Ocherius in August and things progressed successfully and we got a request from this Norwegian sail ship, which is primarily an educational knowledge ex knowledge exchange experience type of vessel where you have students and lecturers participate in a one ocean expedition traveling um, in various destinations around the world in support of environmental awareness and sustainable habits so we thought it was a good opportunity to facilitate them based on their purpose and their objectives because we share in sustaining the environment and ensure that um, members of the country adhere to environmentally safe practices. So we thought that it would be novel for them to come to this port. It's our newest yes. port. Um, it's a fantastic facility. Just and it, yes, yes as we just it's, it's, look around it, we can see yes. that it's a really, as you say, a fantastic right. port. And also, as we look around, you mentioned to me before that we have some Jamaicans who are also a part of this educational journey. Right, so there is a partnership with the University of the West Indies and the univer a University in um, Norway. And um, so there are students and lecturers on the vessel and there are some exchange programs with these students from the university, with the University of the West Indies. The representatives from the university would be best able to speak to yes. that. Yes. However, because of the educational value of this sport, apart from its rich 
culture and heritage that is Port Royal. Its mm -hmm. mystique is so attractive, but we also have the use of the seawalk, which is one of four in the entire world. So this yes. mechanism is what is. facilitates the embarking and disembarking of cruise vessels in Port Royal. We did not use a conventional berthing system in order to protect the environment. So as you know, there is a lot of archaeological and historical assets in the sea. Is that linked to us being a UNESCO site? Uh, it's linked something? to us being um, pursuing, oh, pursuing the, the designation for Port Royal to become a UNESCO site, which the Ministry of um, Culture is presently pursuing. Okay. So yes, it supports and um, ensuring and protecting our heritage and cultural assets is part of that. So in order to ensure that there was no disruption to anything, we um, employed a different kind of mechanism to ensure that nothing was disturbed within the environment in Port Royal. So um, everything has gone well so far. Today is an open day accessible to the public. So they have the opportunity of touring the vessel, the sail ship, as well as having the experience on at the historic naval dockyard. And looking at the property, it's a nice property. It will be accessible at all times to the public um, outside of COVID-19 protocols and regulations. So we encourage everybody to become vaccinated. The quicker you're vaccinated and, and the country- life. Yes, the country is able to reach a acceptable level, we'll be able to return to normalcy. And you can come and enjoy all of what the government has put in place for its citizens. Okay, so Miss Stiff, thank you very much for that very in-depth talk on the whole Port Authority and their role here in Jamaica. And as the Port Authority continues to try to make Jamaica a world-class destination by having our ports at a standard that is more than acceptable to both locals and foreigners so as to generate revenue for the country. Once again, we thank Miss Stiff for all of what she has provided in her interview with us on the whole vessel, what she can give us, and also on where she's employed at the Port Authority. Thanks, Thanks. for having me. Thank you very much. <laughs>